How to connect your social media tools to your HubSpot portal. Hi, my name's Tasha and I'm a Senior Inbound Marketing Specialist at Red Pandas Digital. And today's HubSpot how-to is on how you can connect your social media tools to your HubSpot portal. And of course, make the most of them. So let's jump into HubSpot and get connected. So once you're in your HubSpot portal, you can head over to marketing and then social. From here, if you have no accounts connected, it's gonna want you to connect. So click on connect account, and then you can choose which accounts you're connecting. Now my browser is gonna remember all of my uh, Facebook details and my other clients. So what I'm gonna do here is scroll down to the ones that I wanna be connected to, and that is Red Pandas Facebook and Red Pandas Instagram. Awesome. Now I do wanna connect another social media account, and that is the company's LinkedIn. Again, it'll remember my, uh, the browser will remember my login, and I only wanna connect my company page, not my personal one. Perfect. Now that I've got my three main networks um, connected, I want to create a post that I can share across those networks. So one of the greatest things about the HubSpot social media tool is that it makes it really easy to share one piece of content across all three networks. So for example, we have a lead gen ebook that we have been promoting um, on our uh, Facebook and Instagram. So what I want to do is create another post on that and I want to link it to the landing page that I have created in my portal. So I can easily find the ultimate lead gen hacks ebook. Here it is, press OK. And what HubSpot's automatically going to do is pull across a featured image. It's going to add the URL in there and it's going to put in the description for the page. Now, of course, I can add in a little bit more. I can add in a different picture or a video, maybe put um, an emoji in there. There's a whole bunch of things that I can do to kind of further optimize this post. And then up here is where I'm going to select when I want to send it out. So it's going, I can choose the date, I can choose the time, I can set a custom publish time or I can publish it now. I can also change, um, if I had different Facebook accounts, this is where I would come and select where I was posting it from. Now, if I want to do the same post, but on my Instagram page, I can do the same thing here. Obviously, the Instagram platform is a little bit different, so you're going to have to do things like, you know, optimize your image for a square. Um, and same thing here. You can change when you want to post it, timing. And then the last one that we want to do is an Instagram post. So it'll do the same thing. It'll grab all the same info across, put it in here. It's exactly the same kind of setup, but you can see here we've got one going to Instagram, one going to LinkedIn, and one going to Facebook. Now we can schedule them because they're all optimized. What we're gonna do is just save these as drafts, and then you can always come over here to drafts to find your posts that you've created in the past. The last thing I wanna show you is the HubSpot social media reporting tool. So after you've created all of these awesome social media posts, and you've associated them to campaigns um, and shared all this great content, you're going to want to figure out what's worked and what's not worked and also be able to attribute any new leads or any new customers to your social media posts. From the social window here, we're going to click on this reports tab and what's going to come up is some standard reports widgets on how many clicks were generated, interactions, sessions, contacts, follower bases, published posts, and then we can obviously see some top posts here across our different networks. And that's it. That's HubSpot's social media tool and how you can post and schedule social media posts across different networks. Let me know in the comments below how you're using the social media tool, what you like about it, what you dislike about it. And for more resources or to see how we can help, head over to redpandas.com.au and hit us up under here, the contact tab. Thanks for listening. See you next time.